My name is Mayhan, and I'm the writer of this book, The Messiah Virus. You might have seen it as part of the Library of Necessary Books in Art Science Museum's exhibition 2219 Futures Imagined. We also did a book prescription session conducted as part of Art Science in Focus, The World Around the Corner. Today, I would like to talk to you about all the things you can be doing during this period, including reading books, playing games, learning a bit more about the world around you, and my book, The Messiah Virus. In The Messiah Virus, there is an intergalactic empire. There are also lots of lovable anti-heroes. There is Cyborg Karanguni and a giant nurse in armor. The galaxy is ruled by an AI called the Empress, who is being attacked by a virus called the Messiah. The Messiah virus is a space opera. What is that? Well, it's science fiction that doesn't really take itself too seriously. Usually there is a great intergalactic empire, an extinction-level event, and a lot of likable anti-heroes. Examples of space operas include Star Wars, Fifth Element, and Cowboy Bebop. What is Dune? If you haven't read it, it is the greatest space opera ever written. It's a pretty dense book, but hey, don't you have a lot of time right now to read? It is set in an intergalactic empire. Desert planet, warrior race of people who have to drink their own recycled pee to survive, sandworms, messiah. What more do you need? If you're not into intergalactic empires, how about... The three-body problem is set in China and goes on and on until humanity faces an extinction-level event. Will AI take over the world? Will robots take over AIs? Will human beings die because robots have taken over AIs? Is it all nonsense? I don't know. But this book covers all the possibilities of what life will be after we have all been taken over by robots, AIs, or Terminator came down and killed us all. The Messiah Virus is published by Math Paper Press, who has also done some amazing books such as Tales from a Tiny Room, A Tree to Take Us Up to Heaven, and Modern Myths. Detroit Become Human It's not exactly a space opera, but it answers or tries to answer some of the biggest questions that science fiction likes to make us think about. What makes us human? Is an AI human? If you can feel emotions, but you're made of a carbon fiber shell, are you human? If you'd like to get any of these books that I've recommended, go around to booksactually.com and pick up your copy. Meanwhile, stay safe. Stay indoors, read a book, play a game, and I'll see you on the other side. Have fun.